Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble, Short Consultor, and this is take like 965. So, when I learn how to edit and do a bloopers reel, well, we'll figure that out then. So, my name is Michael. You might know me as the Stroke Assaulter. People ask me, well, why did you call your channel the Stroke Assaulter? That's a very good question. I'll tell you right after I have a sip of tea. So, I had my stroke. I had my stroke at work on the 21st of June, 2018. I had an ischemic left brain parietal lobe stroke that was in the moderate, actually in the, the mid range of the moderate scale. When I initially had my stroke, it looked really shitty. I was in the hospital for three days. When they let me out, things looked better. Things looked significantly better. At least better than they were. I started this channel uh, to document my stroke, recovery, rehabilitation, reintegration, and redevelopment journey. Uh, mainly because my family and some of my friends live about four hours away. And when you have anomia, which is for having difficulty finding words, uh, expressive aphasia, having difficulty getting the thought from the brain to the words and out to the world, and then uh, verbal apraxia, that's where it sounds like I'm stuttering. That's basically a, a neuromuscular misfiring where I'm trying to form the words at the mouth end. And fortunately my nose hole, my, my no, noise hole is not so efficient at making the talking sounds. So the channel got created. So people that I know either from work or from my family uh, can follow my journey. So then the channel kind of morphed. In addition to that, I started doing stroke educational stuff because I'll be honest, I got a book from Heart and Stroke Canada um, called the Stroke Book, or what I also like to call the user's manual for the brain to try to kill you. It didn't have some of the information I, I was looking for in it. Um, my neurologist, great guy, don't get me wrong, man saved my life. Uh, couldn't give me some of the answers that I needed. My GP, nice enough guy, knows fuck all about stroke. So, especially young stroke. So, I started doing educational pieces or, or informative pieces. And I'm going to admit, my channel is a niche channel. I don't do anything that's socially relevant. Uh, I don't discuss sovereign citizens, how they're traveling, not driving. They're in a vessel, not an automobile, and the road pirates don't have jurisdiction over them. I don't do those. That's donut operator. Um, I don't do the debate of flat earthers, right? I, I'm not a Simon Dan or a godless engineer or um, uh, conspiracy cats. Uh, you know, I don't do apologetics versus atheists like I'm not a Utah outcast or a godless engineer again or any of those fine people I don't do that content I don't do gear reviews right be it gear that I'm actually interested in or gear that I would never buy because it's yuppie Gucci pieces of crap I don't discuss movies uh, I don't do any of that I don't open kinder eggs or build Lego probably make a pretty good channel of building Lego. Um, I don't do any of that. I discuss topics that are fairly heady. I discuss topics that are fairly cerebral. I discuss topics that could be emotionally triggering. And I realize I'm not, I'm probably with this channel, I'm never going to attract a large audience. I accept that. But then again, this channel wasn't created to become a YouTube star. Okay. I have done response videos. Uh, I've done response videos specifically when I felt it was germane that I needed to say something because someone was either making a claim about mental health that, in my experience, was bullshit. That would be mundane, Matt. Um, and I say that's bullshit because I used to work in mental health and everything he was saying didn't ring true for me and everything he was saying, in my opinion and in my experience, now, my training was doing an egregious and gross disservice for those of us that have mental health issues. And then there was Extreme Games, Thomas and Johnny. 
you claim you were dying. Bullshit. Um, that you're about to immediately die. Bullshit. And that if it wasn't for a chiropractor, you'd both be dead. Well, can you please just fucking hurry up and get to the dying piece? Because you weren't dying to begin with, and I still believe your channel's a fraud. And I don't believe you ever gave anything away. I've done pieces on everything from post-stroke fatigue to role change after stroke to um, sex after stroke. By the way, one of my better performing videos. You guys are all horny as fuck out there. Um, I've done some serious videos, though, on the negative impact of toxic positivity, uh, self-injury, and suicide after stroke. Uh, I've done, you know, a very, a various gambit. And some of it, if it refers to me, I'll let people know at the beginning of the video, this is something I experienced. And if, it, if it's not in reference to me, not to scare people that I know, I'll tell them, hey, this has nothing to do with me. So some of the content I generate, the topics that I discuss, the things that I research, cannot be effectively, or, or in my opinion, reasonably covered in a seven minute, seven minute soundbite. So my videos are 15 to 20 minutes long. And I appreciate that your average YouTuber is running like a 12 minute channel, right? I, I, I don't know if I can do that. And I, and I say I don't know if I can do that because I don't know if I can do the topics that I need to discuss, the service they need to be done in. And in some cases, I think doing them as a, a two or three or four parter is just doing it for the clicks and the likes and the views. And I, I don't know if it would be better to do it that way or maybe how to do it that way. But I would just like to say this. For all of those 102 people that have taken the time to subscribe to my channel, and for all the vast majority more, because I've quickly researched my analytics, um, the vast majority of my viewership, they're not my subscribers, I would just like to take the time to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share part of your day with you, for allowing you know, uh, allowing me to give you some knowledge, some insight. And I appreciate that some of the things I'm going to discuss, unless you've had a brain injury, uh, be it from an accident, be it from a medical procedure, be it from, in my case, a stroke, you're not going to get it. In some cases, you're just not going to understand it. Um, Post-stroke fatigue is a good one. Right? People that don't have a neurological deficit just sometimes don't understand that you can literally go from, you know, plodding along all fat, dumb, and happy. Um, not that I'm body shaming anyone, including myself, or calling anyone stupid or a moron because that's just an expression, fat, dumb, and happy. Um, so you're plodding along all fat, dumb, and happy, and all of a sudden you just stop. And you need to go lie down. Uh, so some of the topics I discuss unless you've actually seen someone go through a post-stroke or a post-brain injury recovery, uh, or you are stroke folk yourself or brain injured yourself, you're, you're not going to get it. You just won't understand it. So part of the channel's mission, so to speak, is to educate, provide awareness, uh, give a larger knowledge base uh, to help people better understand what their loved one, their family member who's had a stroke or a brain injury may be going through to help someone that's going through a stroke or brain injury recovery to know sort of what to expect. Because when I got my stroke book, or as I like to call it, the user's manual for the brain that tried to kill you, it didn't have all the information in it that I needed because like headache after stroke, I had a vicious, constant headache for four and a half months. And the doctors really couldn't give me an answer. Uh, my sleep was just absolutely atrocious from June until November. And it wasn't until I got medication from a specialist that I had to wait just to see them for three months to make any progress. Then you get into some of the nitty gritty things like post-stroke anxiety, uh, post-stroke depression, uh, relationships after stroke, uh, some of these alleged stroke cures that are out there on the market, which I'm working on content about that. Uh, you know, there are various things about stroke that are very misunderstood. Stroke is still considered an old people's disease. 
I've had people that work in a pharmacy that you would think maybe they see this more often than you would expect. Oh, you're, you're too young for a stroke. I, really, you had a stroke? You, you look fine. Well, yeah, I look fine. I wasn't set on fire. Um, so I will continue to generate stroke-related content, brain injury-related content, mental health-related content, aphasia, apraxia, uh, anomia-related content. Um, and, and it's my goal to continue to document my journey of redevelopment and reestablishment uh, and reintegration post-stroke. I'll continue to generate that content. I'll start to generate content that deals with other situations or circumstances that are not specifically related to me, but are generally related to the post-stroke and brain injury world. Occasionally about mental health as well, uh, if I feel the need to. Um, and I'd just like to thank my supporters, both here on YouTube, a couple people from uh, Twitter as well. So I do have Twitter. If you'd like to join me on Twitter and become part of the Stroke Folk with me on Twitter, please do so. Uh, and I would happily enjoy that. But ultimately, I would like to know what I can do for you to improve the channel. Now, keep in mind, uh, I will be getting editing software soon. I will be getting a new camera in the next one to two months, possibly. Uh, latest I intend to, ten, in, intend to do that will be September. So once I learn how to edit videos, once I learn how to use the equipment and the editing software, the production value will increase. But ultimately, excluding puppets, because I will not be involving puppets in any way on this channel, um, what can I do to make the channel better? I'm looking for constructive, creative criticism, and advice that, that'll help me build a better channel to reach the audience more effectively. Okay? And on that note, if you happen to like what you've been watching over the last 11 months, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if for immediate notifications, hit the little bell icon for the little ringy dingy dingy thing. And so you can be notified immediately when a video uploads. Please like, sh like share, and subscribe. If you know someone that's going through a post-stroke journey or supporting someone, going through a post-stroke journey, please point the channel out to them. They may get some value out of the content and some of the content that I cover. And if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone who appears to be immediately befuddled, confused, or has a lack of balance. They just, out of nowhere, they can't stand up properly. Um, they're a bit wobbly on their feet or they appear to be a bit confused. Someone has vision problems. They can't see it at one eye. They see it at grayscale. They can't move eyes in a certain direction. They only see a little dot in the world. Someone has facial droop. There's a visual, noticeable slackening of the facial muscles. Someone who um, can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Someone who can't smile equally effectively or at all. Someone has slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. Someone who has general body weakness or weakness on one side or has the inability to stand unaided, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.